everyone, it's me, Axe Canadensis. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new related videos every single day. And today's video, I'm really excited because we are going to be reviewing two Barbie dolls. I don't really cover Barbie a lot on this channel, but I've been really kicking up my interest in Barbie recently because they've been improving a lot. And I was also introduced to the Barbie Signature Looks line, which I've been very, very impressed with. And this video is partially provided by entertainment earth which is a website where you can purchase different things and they happen to have barbie dolls and really consistently you can get a hold of the looks dolls which i know can be pretty tr difficult to get a hold of so i have a bunch of them on pre-order right now this one happened to come so this is barbie signature looks what number is this one number 11 so i've reviewed this one before and then i have this one on back order right now so hopefully she'll come soon and this doll was provided to me for free for review by entertainment earth so thank you so much to them if you guys are interested in checking out their website and seeing their Barbie looks dolls. I'll put a link in the description. It is an affiliate link and information on that will be there. And then also in this review to make it more fun, I'm going to be including this Barbie extra doll. So this is Barbie extra number 15 who has been dubbed Raquel by the fan base and because she looks an awful lot like Raquel. I got her at a store called Dirt Cheap, which is basically like a factory second salvage type store. So you can see that her packaging is missing some like detail. I don't really know how that happened, but I managed to get her for like legit eight dollars so pretty excited about her i really love barbie extra so i'm really curious about this one i think that this one is like specifically very impressive i just think she looks really beautiful so uh let's take a look at the back of her packaging the artwork is so pretty on the barbie extra dolls so i've almost completed this whole set i think i'm only missing one yeah i'm only missing this one so we're going good and they pretty consistently show up at discount stores near me so i'm hoping to grab them while they're there and um, Entertainment Earth also sells them, so I might pick some up. Let me know if you guys want to see more reviews of Barbie and Barbie Extra Dolls specifically, because Entertainment Earth has happily um, offered to provide more dolls for review. Anyway, let's get started. Both of our Barbie dolls are out of the packaging, and I'm already so impressed. Thank goodness both of them have really, really soft, nice saran hair. We'll get there. So first of all, I want to introduce uh, both of them with the price points and kind of give my initial thoughts on these. So this is what I would call a collector playline doll. This doll is from the Barbie Signature Looks line or the Barbie Looks Signature. I don't really know what you call it. And she's black label. When a doll is black label, I generally will refer to that as collector playline. Collector playline is a doll that is at a playline price point, but is made with collectors in mind. You'll also see collector playline being things like Barbie holiday dolls, which seem to be more made for kids than collectors, and they're a bit more expensive. The term is flexible. I made it up. I think I did anyway. <laughs> and then we have a Barbie extra doll. Barbie extra dolls are playline. They are made with children in mind. They are not made with collectors in mind. Maybe collectors are part of the equation, but they're not specifically for collectors. But that doesn't mean collectors can't enjoy them. If you look closely at my entire doll collection, it is 95% playline dolls because I generally prefer playline dolls. And I also really love collector playline. So I really, really like this line. Reminds me a lot of like Barbie basics. Uh, with the price point being so low. And for price point, this doll retails for around $25, and this doll retails for around $20. So this doll is actually cheaper, which I had to do a double take on that one. I did not... I didn't believe it originally. Very, very impressive. Also, this is just a coincidence, but how cute is it that they both have this metallic fabric? I'm pretty sure it's the same one, too. Like, if we look... Yeah, I think it's the same fabric. Isn't that cute? It's so fun. Anyway, so now I'm going to start off by taking a look at our Barbie extra doll. So I'm going to be referring to her as Raquel because she just looks like Raquel. So this is our Barbie extra doll. And if you're not super familiar with the Barbie extra line, the idea is in the name extra. They come with a lot of layers. So often they look very, very busy when you get them out of the packaging, but you can work your way down. As you can see, there's a simpler outfit underneath. So yeah, this one I actually really like altogether. Normally I take off quite a few pieces, but I think this outfit is extremely solid. But let's take a look at her doll. So I always start off with the face because that's my favorite thing about a doll. I can excuse everything wrong with a doll if she has a pretty face. And she has a beautiful face. Look at this. And I really love that they actually managed to make this lip color work. I feel like this lip color is really hard to pull off and I think she's doing a great job. I think she looks gorgeous. Love the brown eyes. Love the thick eyebrows, the blushing, the purple eyeshadow beautiful and I'm not seeing any signs of low resolution pixelation on her makeup which you'll see on quite a few Barbie dolls uh, re in recent years so this is awesome this is really cool to see and then her hair is middle parted she has these two pieces in the front that have little barrettes on them and are meant to pull them forward and the barrettes 
wanted to show you better what the barrettes look like. So they are sewn to the head. I would recommend not removing those if you want them to stay because they probably don't stay in super well without it, but they look great. They're little stars with little studs and little like gem studs, I guess, or the little circle ones. Really cute. They look really nice. If we turn her around, we can take a look at the rooting of her hair. So she does have saran hair. So your first couple of times brushing her, she's likely going to shed hair. Totally normal with saran, so don't worry about it. But this doll in particular had a lot of shedding. I haven't brushed it yet. I like to leave my dolls as I unbox them for reviews. I don't really mess with the hair so that you guys can have a realistic expectation for when you unbox your doll if you plan to get this one. Anyway, the hair is super densely rooted. With Mattel, when it's saran hair, they root it super well. Like, I never really have issues with Mattel's rooting, which is very nice, but I always like to show it in case you guys are interested. And then she also has earrings, which are pretty big. Just a four-sided shape, like a diamond. Very cute. And I love that the barrettes, as well as the earrings and I think the necklace yeah they all have plating and plating is when it's like actually metallic looking and it's not just like a metallic paint so you'll see here this dull metallic look is paint on this lower necklace but this is plating and I really like how plating looks it's also like more expensive to do and it's just it just shows that they really cared about the look of that all right so moving down I'm going to show you guys the jacket and what the outfit looks like with the jacket first and then we will take the jacket off and you can see the saran hair is getting absolutely everywhere it is it's really, really beautiful, and I think there's some kind of styling wax in it, too. It kind of has a residue, but you can totally brush through it and mess with it as much as you want, which I like. I prefer wax to gel all the, always, always. So the biggest, most obvious thing to point out on this coat is that it has this huge section of faux fur. So each side has faux fur sewn on, and you can see that it's just sewn on just like that. This is the bad side, so this is the lining, and this is the good side, meaning where the fur is. And I really like that it's cut into this, like, U-shape, so it has the effect of the shape of an open suit like the collar i guess i don't really know how to describe it but it looks great and the fur it's not the super soft minky style fur but it's still very nice it's just not like the most expensive type but i really like how this in particular looks i like the length of the fur a lot and i think it looks really really awesome especially the way it's framing her framing her face it's so cute and then the coat itself is really oversized on the sleeves but pretty fitted everywhere else i mean well, the shoulders are really large. I don't know how to describe it. It's fascinating. It does have this little area here, and it looks like it would work, but it's actually just a little snap. But I appreciate that it's a little snap. Looks good. So you can see you can have it super fitted there, but it's still super loose on the sleeves. It's really interesting. I really like the silhouette that this outfit has. It's extremely unique for a fashion doll, and I love to see that sort of thing. Also, I really like that this isn't just like a basic metallic fabric like you would see here, which this fabric, by the way, which Raquel is also using on the skirt, will lose shine over time. So I'm not a big fan of this fabric, actually. Uh, but this fabric is different. It will not lose the shine as readily, if at all. And it has this really cool scaled pattern. So I think it looks really nice. And then the back of the jacket, you can see that it is gathered a little bit here uh, to make it more fitted. Super impressed with this. The fact that it even continues onto the back like that, that is so cool. And then this is what the outfit looks like overall with the coat. We are going to be removing the coat, which is why I am pointing that out to you now. So let's take off the coat so we can take a look at the skirt, un unobstructed, and the shirt. By the way, you guys, since it's visible, just so you know, Barbie Extra dolls do not come with stands. The Looks dolls actually come with stands, but the Barbie Extras do not. I have her on a stand for my collection. So just so you know, these dolls don't come with stands. That's my biggest criticism of the Barbie Extra dolls, other than that some of them have polypropylene and that is really obnoxious. It's the stands. I think they really need stands, especially because these, even though they are Playline, it seems like they're aimed at kind of an older demographic than young, young kids that wouldn't really get a use out of stands. So I think stands are pretty necessary here. And Mattel doesn't really sell stands separately. At least I don't think they do. If they do, please enlighten me. Um, but yeah, that's just my criticism there. Anyway, I'm so impressed by this undershirt. The skirt is cute, but I don't like it and I'll get there. But this, oh my God, it's made out of this really fantastic, stretchy, soft material. It's extremely high quality. I'm so blown away by it. And I love the little printed on hearts. They look amazing. Look how cute that is. I love this top. I was not expecting this top under here. I knew she had a purple top. I've seen it before in pictures, but I had no idea it was going to be made out of this material. It is semi-transparent though, so you can kind of see her skin tone through it. So if that bothers you, that's something to note. Love the turtleneck on it. This is probably my favorite Barbie top that they've done in the past like five years, and I'm not kidding. Love this. She has two necklaces because 
These dolls are extras, so they have a lot of extra little details. So she has this necklace, which I really like the little resin gems inside. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the metallic paint came off. Oh no. Oh, how unfortunate. Okay, well, this one wasn't sealed really well, so that's something to note that that might happen. Um, oh my gosh, it's like flaking off. Ew. Well, I was going to say that my least favorite part about this is that it is not plated like the others, which I think is probably because they wanted those little gems. So I get it, but I wish it was plated. So she's not going to be wearing this because everything else she has is plated. So this other necklace she has, let me pull it off. It's plated. So basically it's really shiny and you can see a big difference. So love this. Very, very cute. And it looks super good with the little turtleneck. But even though I'm not into this, I do like the silver material like this when it's not paired with plated pieces. If you're going to do plated pieces, you need all pieces to be plated. Otherwise, it looks silly. Anyway, moving to... Oh, yeah, and the sleeves are like... I don't know if this is on purpose, but they bunch at the bottom. Like, they're slightly ruched. I don't know if it's intentional again, but I think it's very cute. And then the skirt. So this material... Ugh, I hate it. So first of all, it will rub over time. I can show you examples in my collection of this exact material where it has lost color. And some of the dolls are from like exactly 10 years ago, but they started rubbing more than like five years ago. So, and again, I'm a collector. My dolls basically are always on display and when they're stored, they're stored well. So the fact, especially my Winx dolls, which use this material. So when there's rubs on it already, and I even had a doll that was brand new in box that I unboxed and it was already rubbing. So this material just is not good. Um, I don't know how they do it. It's something applied on top of this fabric layer, I think, but yeah, it'll rub over time. It's not fun especially as a children's toy. I need them to stop using this and <laughs> we'll get we'll get there. But the skirt is awesome. It is really cool. I'm not the biggest fan of the random ruffle thing Barbie's been really obsessed with lately where they just add weird ruffles to things, but I actually think it works really well here, especially because this piece is really gathered on this side and it's actually pretty flat on this side. So you kind of need to keep the ruffle, but I think it looks good. I like the V shape here. I like the kind of V shape here. It's, it's cute. It's cute. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> it's cute, but I'm worried about the material over time. Also, if you're going to have a three-dimensional three ruffle like this, and the back is showing, and the back is just the like bad side of the fabric, and the bad side of the fabric doesn't match, that is kind of annoying. Um, and then we have the shoes. So there are these purple shoes with painted buckles. I don't mind that these aren't plated because they're so far away from all the plated pieces that I think it works just fine really cute. I really like these shoes, actually. And Barbie Extra Dolls, at least this one, they do not have articulated feet or, like, ankles, so she's permanently in her toe position. I think some of them are flat-footed, but it's just how they come, so. And you can see that she's shedding some saran. Again, if you're used to saran dolls, totally normal. It's not really something to worry about unless it sheds, like, a lot and it's noticeable. And yeah, so that's our Raquel doll. I'm really, really impressed with just the base doll and her jacket. She is so cute. Her outfit is phenomenal. The quality of it is extremely impressive to me, and I'm not normally very impressed by Barbie Extra outfits. I'm always like, I really like this one piece, but everything else is something that needs a major improvement. But here, the skirt is not my favorite, but it's not bad necessarily. So honestly, every single piece of clothing gets a thumbs up. I really like this. I think they hit it out of the park with this one, and I'm really hoping to get the rest of the newer Barbie Extra dolls, because if this one is this nice, I really need to see how the other ones are. I really appreciate that Mattel seems to be stepping up their game with Barbie Extra, because Barbie Extra is really cool, actually. I think it started off really nicely and then got a bit shaky, and they really, really improved with the recent ones. So I'm very impressed with the, with the last couple of releases. All right, so now let's take a look at the accessories, because Barbie Extra dolls come with extra accessories, which is very cool. So this is the big difference between our Looks doll and our Extra dolls, that the Extra dolls come with extra accessories. Also, the Extra dolls don't have the articulation that the Looks dolls do. They don't have double joints, but they're actually really well articulated. So this can hit a right angle, but it can't go to an acute angle, and same with the elbow, whereas Barbie Looks can, and we'll get there. I'll show you. Also, this is weird. I hate this. There's like this weird shiny thing uh, with the legs of the Barbie Extra Dolls because of this body, just the way they make it. I, I hate it. I feel like that's an easy fix. I don't know. Um, easy fix for them, I mean, in the manufacturing process. All right, so all Barbie Extra Dolls come with pets. This is no exception. Raquel comes with a Dalmatian with accessories. So there's two accessories for our Dalmatian. 
He's really cute. Oh, he has his little eyes closed. One ear is black, tail's black, and then we have the polka dots. Super cute. And then the sunglasses insert right there as if they're under the ear, which I think looks pretty cute. And they're just little red sunglasses. I wish it coordinated with her outfit better. I feel like usually they do. And then this is really cool, actually. It has a plated bow. So this little pup can have a pink plated bow. That is a really unusual accessory to be plated, and I really appreciate it. Again, I kind of wish it was either purple plated or silver plated to match Raquel, but I appreciate it. Regardless, it's very cute. It's just that that dog does not match Raquel at all. And then um, you get a pizza bag. This is the type of thing that, like, kids absolutely love this. I love this too. It just doesn't go with the outfit, but I will say, oh my god, this is the ultimate pizza. You never see this represented. <laughs> And I love it. This is a pepperoni, black olive, and mushroom pizza. I'm not too into pepperoni, but black olives and mushrooms are like the, the uh, <laughs> combination on pizza, and you never see those two specifically. So like, Mattel. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. All right. And then she also has a phone. Also doesn't match her outfit, but I can forgive it more on this one. I think it's a phone anyway. It has a little kickstand. What is this? I think it's a phone. You can see that very low resolution printing, very pixelated, but not really a big deal. It's a phone. Like, it's not that serious, but looks good. It has little cat ears. There's three buttons down here, and it has the kickstand, which really weird that it has a kickstand. I don't know. And then she also has these really cute sunglasses. Really like these. They have painted silver here, which is probably what's going to keep her from wearing them, honestly, because she has so much metallic going on that I think the painted silver is going to distract, but... We'll see. I'll show you guys in a second. We are going to move upward and move on to our Barbie look doll. Honestly, this is not too distracting, but I don't like when there's a bunch of plated accessories next to a non-plated accessory like this because the silver really stands out as looking very artificial when normally it wouldn't. But these are really cute, actually. I would just put them on a different doll. Love that they're purple, though. The purple lenses are awesome. All right, so now we're going to move our Barbie extra doll out of the way, but she'll be back. And we're going to move on to our Barbie Looks doll. So this is Barbie Looks number 11, I believe. Let me, let me double check on that. Yeah, so this is Barbie Looks number 11. And I'm very impressed with her as well. She's really cute. So I already have two Barbie Looks dolls. I have number 10. And I don't remember what the other one's number was. But she's the one with that's short and has the red hair. This doll is the one with the curly hair and the kind of typical Barbie body. So she has like the standard measurements, essentially of a Barbie doll. She's so pretty. So the other two that I have are the tall and the petite ones, and I'll bring them over in a little bit so I can compare them to her. She's really, really striking. I love the face sculpts that they use on these. I don't know if this one has a new face sculpt, but I know that my other two do, and I've been very impressed by that because one of the most expensive parts of toy production, if not the most expensive, is actually doing the sculpts. Um, sewing the clothes is the most expensive, like, per item cost, but when you do a new sculpt just for one doll, or um, you front the cost of a new sculpt for, the, like, your doll, it's actually a really expensive process, so I think it's really cool that Barbie Looks does it a lot. Again, if this isn't a new sculpt, I don't think it is, actually. I think I recognize this one. Um, that's not a big deal. It's beside the point, but... I just really like the Barbie looks line. So Barbie looks comes with a doll, the outfit the doll is wearing, a stand, and it's a nice stand, and a little certificate. The certificate just tells you, like, it's a doll, it's a black label doll, I don't know, it's kind of just a piece of paper, but it is cute, and it's a fun, like, collector experience. All right, so now let's take a look at our doll. So we're gonna start with her face. She's so pretty. I love that she seems to have shine on the inner corner of her eyes. Isn't that so cute? And the makeup is so pretty. She has really beautiful green eyes and just super intense purple makeup, which really helps her green eyes pop. And then up to the eyebrow, there's actually this gold glitter. How cute is that? And she has less thick eyebrows than usual. Um, with the more modern dolls, they generally have super thick eyebrows, which I love. I love thick eyebrows. Um, and I think they look super good on dolls too, but I really like this uh, eyebrow width, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Um, but this size of eyebrow looks really, really good on her face. And I love the lip color they chose too. It's like slightly peachy and it has a lot of gloss on it. It's super, super pretty. And then you can see that her hair is pulled back into a low ponytail. And look at the blend here. So she has orange, a yellower orange, and then a redder orange to all mixed together. And this is Saran hair. It's super, super soft. And for the rooting pattern, you can see that it's in rows. There's tons of hair on this head and they've painted it to not look gappy even when there is a gap like this it's not super obvious so 
that's awesome, especially because she comes in a ponytail. Sometimes they will kind of make the rooting pattern not as full. And you can see that she has really, really curly hair. It's beautiful. I love this curly saran that Mattel occasionally will use. It's just gorgeous. And then, uh, so the outfit is really cool, but it is not my favorite. And this is just, this metallic series unfortunately uses this material. It's interesting though, because Raquel came with this, which is the metallic material that's not going to wear as readily, you know? So it's really interesting that they come with this material, but I mean, it looks fantastic. And these are for collectors. So in theory, they'll last a little longer. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what the longevity of these dolls are, but just know that like this has the potential to peel, even if you don't touch it, it's really obnoxious, but it looks really nice. I will say that I really like it. I want to see if this belt is a separate piece. It's not. Dang it, Mattel. This has been a 100% positive review until we hit that part. <laughs> um, yeah, so the belt is not separate, but I do really like the material of the belt. It's like really, really shiny and fun, but that's a shame that it's not a separate piece. And the outfit is a jumpsuit. So as you can see, it's all one piece. It's not pants and a top, which is fine to me. I wouldn't really be using the pants separately at all. Um, off the shoulder. Very cute. There's not a lot to describe though, because it's a very simple outfit, because that's kind of the thing with the Barbie Lux dolls. They have extremely simple outfits. This is actually a pretty um, busy outfit for a Barbie Lux doll, which I really like. This outfit is really cool. My favorite part, look at these. The pants on the bottom have this really cool bunchy area where they've kind of gathered it so that they sit. Like, look how pretty that looks. And I love too the way they've fitted it at the waist and then gathered it here so they kind of flare out. Look how cute that is. It looks fantastic. I really like this. Um, this type of outfit isn't particularly my style, and I don't even think I would be able to come up with it if you were to ask me to draw, like, metallic outfits. This would never come up. She has these silver strappy shoes. These are super pretty. I almost wish, though, that they were black because the shiny next to the less shiny here is not my favorite, and also we don't have any more black drawn into the outfit, but it's totally fine. These are really nice shoes. I really like the sculpt of these. I don't think I have any Barbie shoes in this sculpt. I might. I'm not sure. And then you can see that she does have an ankle joint, so she can wear flat-footed shoes and heeled shoes, so that's really fun. And then she also has double-jointed knees, so she can bend to an acute angle. And she could bend it more if she didn't have the pants on. So I really... The man-to-move body, it's not my favorite. I don't super like how it looks because, I mean... It's just not as pretty in pictures as, say, this elbow, you know? But it has way more movement. See, so like I said earlier, the kind of standard Barbie articulated doll has a right angle of movement, which is mostly fine, but this body can reach, it's a little bit tight right now, can reach an acute angle. It can almost fully close in on itself. So that is really fantastic articulation. It makes these dolls so super fun to play with. And honestly, I didn't really have any made to move bodies before I got my other Barbie looks dolls. I might've had like one or two that I got at thrift stores, but I never did much with them. But I have to say that the look of the bodies truly does not bother me as much th as I thought it would. Um, in pictures, I don't know, I didn't super like it, but when I'm actually playing with the doll, which is the most important thing, I have so much fun with the made-to-move body. It is genuinely really fun, and it is clearly a huge selling point for these dolls. You get the made-to-move body. There's tons of skin tones in this line, and the dolls themselves are really beautiful. So the skin tone thing is important because not only is it awesome to have the rep representation, but also Barbie dolls. People will buy, like, a fashionista whose face and hair they really like, and then buy, if they can find one, a made-to-move body in that skin tone so that they can put that head on it so that now they have an articulated version of that doll. But a lot of skin tones have never been done in made-to-move, and I have seen people get excited about specific ones of these Barbie looks dolls being the right skin tone and also different body types in this line. So there's curvy dolls, there's petite dolls, there's taller dolls. So if you want like a very specific body type for your doll, this line continuing is really awesome. And I just really like this line. I think it's super cool. All right. So now I'm going to bring over my other Barbie looks dolls just so I can compare I've them. I brought over my other two looks dolls to share with you. And I actually totally forgot to point this out. They also have a chest joint. Uh, that's the best part. Chest joints are my favorite joint on dolls. I think it adds so much expressiveness and it's extremely uncommon. Interestingly though, the Generation 3 Monster High dolls you're seeing here, like the newest ones, they actually have a chest joint which is really cool. Very few G1 Monster High dolls had that, and I love it. It's the best. I wish all dolls had it. Um, it's funny because some dolls, like the Jack-specific Disney Fairies dolls, actually have a chest joint, even though they're not very articulated. It's very weird. 
that was a tangent. I'm sorry. Anyway, so let's take a look at the other two looks dolls that I have. So I don't have any with the curvy body yet. I do have one on back order, so hopefully she arrives soon. Um, but look, so here they are all together. It's so funny though, because I actually don't display them on stands because they sit so cute. So I actually display them all sitting down. So they're not normally on stands, which is why their poses aren't very interesting. I had to stand them up for this. And the tall doll doesn't super fit on the stands that I like to use. And she doesn't really even fit on this. If I like, I'll show you. Like, they didn't really think it through because she doesn't really fit. You can put it lower on her waist and she'll just barely fit, but it's kind of funny. Um, so maybe she came with a taller stand. I don't remember because, again, I don't display her on a stand because they're just so pretty sitting down and, like, laying down. They, they can hit so many cool poses. And, yeah, I love the Barbie Looks dolls. These dolls sell out. I mean, they don't always sell out immediately. They'll stay around for just a little while. But when they sell out, they're, like, gone and they get kind of expensive. And I can see why. They're super cool. In fact, I actually, with the first wave of Barbie looks, I think they sold out pretty quick or just quicker than I noticed them because they were like $50 on Amazon. And I was like, oh, they retail for that much? So I didn't even give this line a second thought. Like, I just wasn't even, I was like, oh, they're not worth $50. Um, so I was really shocked when I found out that they were $20 when Entertainment Earth reached out to me uh, and offered to send me the these two when I reviewed them. All of these three were sent to me by Entertainment Earth, by the way, um, as gifts, again, this one was a purchase that I made, um, but these three were sent to me for review. And I was blown away. So I've been trying to catch up, but obviously I'm a little behind and I regret not starting sooner. If you guys have an interest in Barbie and you think these dolls are pretty, I highly recommend picking up one or two. See where you can find the cheapest ones or see if your favorite like look is still in stock because you can like browse all the different looks. I was really fortunate to get these two, I think, because these two are phenomenal. When I look through the gallery of all of them, these were two of my favorites. So I'm really glad that I managed to snatch these two up. And there's actually a new line of these that's kind of color blocking that I do have on pre-order. And I think some of them are actually coming now um, from Entertainment Earth. And I'm really excited about them. And again, this is a partnered video. They, I am an affiliate with them. I'll put information about that in the description if you guys are interested. It helps support the channel. But otherwise, I recommend you check out Entertainment Earth anyway. Because generally, their Barbie stuff stays up longer than other places. And you can get them. And it's just like a pleasant experience. So... I recommend it. Um, I've ordered other things on there that weren't sent to me for free. So that's where I get that idea from. Anyway, that is it for this video. For my final thoughts, I mean, I feel like I covered it all really well. I think for Playline, Barbie Extra is really, really nailing it. Are they as high quality as Rainbow High Doll? No, they're not. But they are really, really nice for Barbie dolls. Like, it's very impressive to me. Um, and if you like Barbie dolls, a Rainbow High Doll won't hit the same thing for you and that's totally fine I really like them I think Barbie dolls are different like I don't know I don't know how to explain it but like a monster high doll a Barbie doll and a rainbow high doll are not filling the same niche for me in my doll collection they're not doing the same thing for me and I'm really loving that I can get into Barbie again because I grew up on Barbie dolls I really love Barbie dolls it's just that lately they've been kind of like not good the quality has really really dipped recently and i'm not the biggest stickler for like everything quality i am a reviewer so i'll always point stuff out but with barbie it got to the point where i just couldn't there's certain materials that i can't forgive there's certain hair types that when they're used in excess i can't do it and then also the price point versus the articulation and stands and things like that i just wasn't seeing it with barbie anymore and also the faces, we were seeing so much of the same face sculpt and the same skin tone and the same hair color and the same hair texture. And truly, it was just exhausting. Like, I don't want 75 of the exact same Barbie doll. Um, so that's kind of why I moved away from Barbie for a while. I felt like the only, like, really good Barbies were super, super expensive collector dolls. And there have been gems along the way. Like, there's been really good Barbie releases every year. Of course there is. But generally, I felt like Mattel was giving up on Barbie. And it really feels like now that there's been more pressure on the market, they're trying. They're making some really cool dolls. And I'm excited to see more. I think they're really cool. And, Yeah. Not that they just started making good ones, to be fair. It's been like two years of making pretty good ones, but I feel like this year is going to be a cool year for Barbie. So I'll leave you with this if you're familiar with both. So if you either have them or if you just know of them, do you prefer the Barbie look dolls, which generally have um, less stuff but more articulation, or do you prefer the extra dolls that come with more stuff, have less articulation, but generally the looks are more, um, I don't know, layered? Interesting? 
I think that these looks are super interesting too, but it's definitely more simple, but I really like simple outfits. You'll see that I always simplify my Barbie Hexter dolls when I put them on display. I really like super simple outfits. I love Barbie Basics dolls, and I feel like the looks dolls are very similar to Barbie Basics. Very similar. And I love that. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!